What's good? If I wanted to give a shout out to this guy. Yeah, he knows the real deal. So check him out. His name is his YouTube channel is Jan Shamanic. I think it's Jan J A N. Maybe it's pronounced John. I'm not for sure. But he has very very excellent information and distilled knowledge to share with us. So yeah, we'll play some of this and we'll see where this goes. Uh, the music playing in the background is is on 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 his end, uh, and it's some good beats. God music, as he put it. So yeah, I think he's gonna go in and uh, talking about your own waters. So. See what he's got to say, shall we? If you really clean yourself, if you're truly pure, if you are on the way of purification, then you start to realize that you can create whatever you would like to see out of your mind into this world by using your words. Now, this degree of being pure and clean has to do with some has something to do with your own words. Now, if you've done it, you're not afraid of telling somebody else. And I can stop this every every five seconds and you know, interject and, and add some things, add some clarity, add some uh, insights. Uh, I could do this uh, Mayan genie style, <laughs> but I'm, I'm just gonna let uh, let most of it play. <laughs> what he's getting at is uh, if you're on the path of uh, truly cleansing yourself and uh, cleansing as well as healing, remembering all aspects of yourself, then uh, it's going to be of, of great benefit and value for you to recycle your waters through all of your portals, your portholes, all of your eyes, as he puts it. Which every every pore in your body is a portal, an eye. Also, uh, beyond the the uh, the physical, uh, more material level of uh, more manifest level of of healing that that occurs, is a uh, a healing that occurs within your mind whenever you start to realize. You, just, you start to reevaluate um, a lot of your belief systems and structures, what you've been told. Um, you, you start to become really in tune with the feeling that you, you are you're not just recycling your waters you're recycling or looping if, if if you go into that route where you repeatedly loop it you are looping your your mentalities over and over you're distilling your mentalities into a clarity so at first whenever you may first get into it yes it's a very physical thing and you'll you'll uh, go through very uh which uh, physical symptoms, like I think we might get to, and he will talk about, but the detox symptoms, and it's not uh, positive or negative, it's just, I mean, there's not, there's not really good or bad, there's, there just is, and then if someone wants to put a label on good or bad, that's their misconception of what 
actually is. There's a benefit or there's not quite a benefit for many factors. So at first you go through this physical stuff and then the real magic will kick in where boundaries and, and, and layers will dis dissolve your ideologies of separation and then you'll, you'll experience the magic of witnessing this in your so-called outer experiences. You will bear witness to the magic that happens. The, the new realities that you manifest, that you open yourself, yourself up to. And it will be a fairly quick process as well, because how this stuff works, your, your body absorbs it very quickly. And it hydrates certain parts of your body. It doesn't hydrate you the same way as uh, taking in water. That, that hydrates more of your organs and then that translates into your uh, other uh, outer extremities. Whereas the, the orin hydrates your body where it needs it the most. It, uh, I feel like the more I get into it, or the more I continue on this path of it, the Orion really focuses on your detoxification and the lymphatic system. And then, of course, you can utilize it for certain areas of the body as well. And, uh... Yes, you can get into part of your research of researching uh, stem cell enzymes and whatnot, but the feeling that I get is more that the orin and the distillation process helps clear the, the pathway so that your body can kind of do its own thing. Yes, I think it aids in the process to some extent. But more than anything, I feel like it clears away, it kind of rehydrates your ability to come back in tune, in contact with where the real magic is, what your body is trying to do by itself. But most people get in the way of that. They get in their own way of allowing themselves to heal and feel and deal with the shit that they need to deal with in order to fucking feel it and thus heal it. Okay. <laughs> Continue. Because you know that's the truth. Mm -hmm. You should clean your whole body, your whole eyes with your waters. You should bathe in your own waters. You should put your own waters above your head and let that rain down into your body. Mm. Put these waters in on your brain. Yes. And now these waters they they will go inside your body and they will Rain down from the brain down. It's it, it's it's like an astringent effect that happens. There's there's so many uh, layers to it, and there, there's so many things that can potentially happen that it's uh, it's like, well, what is this? <laughs> what is happening in this moment compared to the last time that? I had an experience with it. And so, it gets you more in tune with, ah, why? 
Yes, keep asking that question, why, why, why? And allow the answer to present itself to you. And this is the beauty of it. It will present the answer to you if you listen and engage this. It will clear the pathways so that you can listen better. Doing it through the eyes and through the ears and through the nose are uh, very, very important things to do. And how I like to do it nowadays uh, with the nose is I will have a little bit in my hand and suck it up into my nose. That way it gets up into places that uh, it may not get into where if you just do like your normal neti pot style and have your head tilted to the side and pour it in and then it drains out the other side. Whereas if you, it's not like, <laughs> it's not like you're snorting a drug or anything, but I mean, everything's a drug. So yeah, it is. But you snort that up and at first it's going to be a little uncomfortable, especially if you have blockages. But then because of the hydration effect, because of the uh, astringent effect, the cleansing attributes of it, um, it will feel uh, fairly pleasurable. And then also, if you have blockages in your ears or in your uh, eyes or the canals, uh, your tear ducts, your, your, all of that, that's connected. Uh, and especially like your throat as well. If you have some kind of a collection of bacteria in your throat, that will also clear out. So you'll be able to feel that pretty immediately. Your ears may pop, your, you may feel uh, certain pressures acclimating to the, to the medicine. And purificate the whole system. It's like you have different layers in your body. Every single layer that you that you put urine on is going to be melted into the other layer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, yeah. Evidently I'm going to pause this <laughs> frequently. But essentially what he's saying is uh, you have to work one layer at a time and the the orin is going to expose uh, which layer you're at and which layer you're working on and then you'll get to the next layer and, and a lot of times you don't even realize like what how many layers there are until until you finally get in there and start the cleaning process deep cleaning and uh, think of it as like uh, the Russian dolls of like one doll inside of the other. You gotta break those layers down, like uh, revealing the next doll, the next doll, the next layer, the next layer, until you get down to the, uh, the final one, which is the true nature, the the unadulterated, if you want to use that terminology, uh, version, the, the more pure version. Of, of your true nature, your inner nature. You finally tap into that. And all the other layers, you begin to see them in a new light, in a new appreciation, and a new engagement. So, this, it's like a sponge. Now the sponge has to be squeezed free of every dense material which mm. is in there so it can suck in all the energies which are around you now if you have no control over yourself you suck in all all energies which are around you ah 
beautifully put. And like I said, with the Russian doll thing, if you're unaware of what's going on, you're building more and more dolls around your original doll, your original essence. You're building more and more uh, cocoons around it. Every time your body recreates itself, you're building another layer. And if you're unaware of what you're collecting, then each new layer is going to be another layer of garbage. Garbage upon garbage upon blockages upon clogs. And there's just so many things right now that I want to jump into, but I don't want to uh, make this too long or go, go into, uh, into too many tangents here. But essentially, one of the original things I was thinking of is, you know, pay attention to who you're drawing your information from to to the level of clarity and the level of engagement that they have with cleaning themselves with their body with all of their bodies all of their layers and yes there there's some people that's going to have certain kind of knowledge and uh, about certain things and uh, maybe in the moment, right then and there, uh, you need to hear that. But also, and I mean, there, there's so many people that I could name off here, but if you look at the person and they're uh, incredibly obese and they have so many clogs and blockages, you have to have that uh, mentality or idea in the back of your mind at least. Absorb what they have to say, of course, but also like recognize that they are filtering their message through this lens that they have, through all of the gunk that they have. So it, it's more likely that they are attaching those bits and pieces that they have ignored with inside themselves into and onto the message that they are sharing. And the more and more work you do inside of yourself, the more obvious it will be um, whenever you listen to other people, what they are attaching onto their message with their undealt traumas and dramas that they attach onto their message. And I mean, we all got to start somewhere. Like, it's not a judgment thing. It's just, it's just an isness thing. It's just, it's an awareness thing. You can't control your thinking. If you're on a on the, if you're on the path, you will realize that you have control over your area. That the person with the biggest area in the room controls the room consciousness. Now, this has something to do with being respectful to yourself and to others. Because you realize that what you do and think has an immediate effect on everybody in this area. You change the room consciousness by just thinking differently. I'm just digging this music. <sighs> yes, I mean, I mean, this stuff is accurate. What he's saying, but uh, we have to, we have to come back down to the origin point, which is always going to be the emotions, the, the feeling. So, whenever you feel your freedom, you feel with clarity. Uh, it's not a mentality thing or even a thought thing. You you feel it and you observe the area of effect that your your freedom has upon others within a certain uh, a certain area 
of influence. And then you're also left with the option of engaging certain aspects. Because a lot of times, um, with a lot of us out here that have done a lot of inner exploration, inner clearing, um, whenever we go out into the public sector and or interact with certain people or are in the presence of certain kinds of people, because they are so entrapped with inside themselves, with inside their own belief systems, with inside the indoctrination system, that they have yet to realize that they're under the spell of, they will... Uh, not respond in kind to what you are about. So uh, you can call this being triggered or having a fit or project. I mean, that's essentially what it is. is they're them projecting their garbage onto you. And really, if you realize what's happening here, they're doing this because they want to get free. They want to get free so badly that they're projecting it onto you because they want you to uh, do the work for them. So constantly I'm in a mode where I have to kind of uh, swipe the stuff away and, and uh, let it be known that they have to do the work for themselves. And uh, constantly I'm bombarded with well, you have the answer, so tell me, tell, tell me now. It's like, <laughs> dude, calm down. Like, it's not, you don't need to know right now because you're not, you're not in the gnosis of the now. So you just need to chill so that you can get control of your own beingness and then we can work from there. We can find a stable ground to work from. Otherwise, you're just going to be too unbalanced and you don't have your surfboard underneath you. You're not able to ride the sine waves. You're, you're struggling. Those kinds of people are struggling to uh, doggy paddle in the water. And just to keep their head above the water, essentially. So yes, sometimes you do kind of have to, uh, if you so choose, place an imaginary board underneath their feet so that they can temporarily stand on. So that they can realize their own power and cr create that board for themselves so basically they, they gain a little bit more willpower so that they can take control over their own situation over their own emotions over their own energy But sometimes, uh, it's just a dance, and uh, if you don't like the dance partner in front of you, then you have the option of um, dancing with another person, or just dancing by yourself. That's a great thing. Dance, just just dance by always dance. You know, with the rhythm of life. Like we're we're always in a dance with life, so. If you don't like the dancing partner in front of you, just find a new one that, that you want to dance with or that is willing to really dance with you instead of projecting what they have yet to heal inside themselves. So essentially, these people want you to dance for them. They want you to think for them. And I've told people this even, that I've had relationships with. Like, I'm not going to think for you. And they don't they don't get it. And I was just like, what do you mean by that? I can think. What I mean is that I'm solving your question, your, your, your dilemmas for you. And that's not necessarily of benefit for you. Like, you have to figure shit out for yourself, people discern your reality. Now, if you become aware of this process, it 
is very important to be self-controlled and not control the other things. Yep. You can only do that if you release things out of your body which block your consciousness, which are blocking your flow of moving the mind of your movement. Now, if you can't move in any direction, bingo, bingo. you can't move physically, you can't move mentally. These things are interconnected. This is why yoga means the whole process. You nope. should be able to move in any direction. This is also something to do with me. Alright, and that's probably going to be about it for now. Uh, I just wanted to give a shout out to this guy. Uh, I'm, I'm really digging the stuff that, that the GM puts out. He, he's a really fucking awesome guy. Much appreciation and respect for you. For anyone who, who, who is able to intuit uh, life for themselves and discern shit for themselves and uh, puts in the work for themselves. But what he was going to talk about is uh, the connection with body and mind and how you can only go so far with the body before you... I think what he's trying to get at is before you essentially realize that it's all the mind to begin with. accessing and engaging more and more aspects of uh, not just your physical body but all your bodies it's going to open you up to uh, what's real and true and what the mind really is what yourself is what the self is I don't really go into uh... <laughs> Where you can go with it, because uh, we'll do that when it's time to admit. But know that you are immensely powerful, more so than you know, and you create more than what you realize. You allow more than what you realize to happen to you. So, uh, if you are in a state where you are fed up with life, and um, I go in and out of those states, we all do, uh, just just because of uh, the times that we're in, uh, how most people uh, are just. It's kind of like the blind being led by the blind. It's They are numbed down. All their senses are numbed because they're so clogged up. That's, that's where the numbing comes from, is the clogs. Unclog your system. Then you can feel clearly. You can start to sense again. You start to sense your reality within and without. So yes, there's there's many things I could touch upon, uh, the, the, the fucking chemtrails, and I was going to actually, before this, make a video about uh, some of the observations I've uh, felt to experience for myself, and my gua sha experiences, constantly pulling stuff out of my skin, and how that definitely correlates with uh, certain days that there are many chemtrails in the skies, and just how much stuff I pull out of my skin. Now, what a coincidence. Every single time, there are massive chemtrails in these guys. I pull out massive garbage out of my skin. Man, it's just coincidence. Uh, oh, you're just... No, <laughs> I'm not going to go that route. Uh, but, uh... Also, if if you're very observant, if you're very observant uh, to, to the natural world, uh, you have been aware of uh, the effect of the plant life of the uh, animal insect life for a while now it's it's been uh, pretty fucking depressing at times it can be very infuriating but then also uh, if you if you're uh, if you have the eyes to see you will be able to see 
what is happening on a uh, quicker and quicker level with people. If you look at more and more people, you will be able to see the aging effect that is happening uh, very rapidly now, I would say within the past. Hmm. Ten years, but the accelerated, uh, it's been, you know, like, uh, snowballing, so, uh, really within the past five or six years, uh, I've really been witnessing the aging effect on people, aging very tremendously, uh, all around the globe. <laughs> the globe? <laughs> all around the realms. Oh my gosh, all around. Round and around and around, the merry-go-round. <laughs> but not only have I, have I been witnessing on the outside, but I've been experiencing it for myself. So, I mean, I do all this fucking cleaning, cleaning work. I mean, I do all these things, so... The gua sha, the, the orin, the, the distilled waters, the all kinds of different kinds of cleansing herbs, all kinds of methods and modalities, breath work, yoking your your realms together. And I'm still witnessing just on on the most minute levels what what's occurring. So, if you're able to feel this, uh, know that you're not alone. <sighs> Keep doing what you gotta do. And, uh, I'd like to say, <laughs> Oh, it'll get better, you know. Oh, we're almost there, people. We're, 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 we're creating heaven. We're, we're building the bridge. And of course, yes, but also, you know. A lot of times you have to go through the dark night before you're able to really come through the shits. You have to go through. The only way to your destination is through the fucking denseness, through the bullshit. You have to go through it to realize what it is. Because if you don't truly directly engage it and feel it, then you're always going to be on the outside trying, trying to look in, trying to peer in. And, and then you're just guessing at what it is. And yeah, you can, you know, strike gold and guess right sometimes, but you're always going to be on that level, on the outside looking in. Get on the fucking inside. Get inside yourself. Get inside the self. Get inside the mind. Feel it. To really heal it. <laughs> Alright, that's it for now. Peace, y'all.